President Trump is scheduled to deliver the State of the Union speech on Tuesday, January 29th, but with the government shutdown still on and the feud between the president and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi heating up even more, Governor Justice is now giving the president an alternate option. Reporter Adrian Robbins has more. On Wednesday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said she would block the president from delivering the State of the Union address in the House chamber until the government reopens. So could the president travel outside of the Capitol for the speech? And could he come right here to West Virginia? I don't know of any constitutional impediment to uh, Uncle Donald, as we call him in my house, uh, coming to West Virginia to give the address. President Trump has made it clear he does not plan to postpone the speech. So Governor Jim Justice has extended an invitation to the president to hold it right here in the mountain state, saying in part, no matter where he chooses to have the speech, I want the president to know that he is always welcome in the great state of West Virginia. I'm not sure how many it would hold, but I think it would be fine. The president has been to West Virginia eight times since taking office. And to local lawmakers, his apparent fondness of the state is even more of a reason to hold it here. The state of the reunion address would be great. What would be a better venue than West Virginia to have that him and have him here because everybody supports him and everybody loves this president. The governor added on Wednesday, giving the speech in a state full of people who love their country would truly reflect his focus on the forgotten men and women of America. I would think we would welcome the president of the United States to our capital regardless of who it was and uh, I would think petty politics or partisan politics would not play a role in that. West Virginia is not the only state to invite the president. Ohio Republicans have invited the president to the Buckeye State as well. Reporting in Charleston for West Virginia Tonight, I'm Adrian Robbins. Now, another development, according to Fox News this afternoon, when asked about House Majority Leader Pelosi's call to delay the State of the Union address, President Trump told reporters, quote, we'll do something in the alternative. So maybe the West Virginia option is in play.